Is there anything different about the new regen on the 2026 Model Y Juniper? Let's find out. So one of the things that makes Tesla and EVs really, really great is that it has regen braking. And regen braking is actually super important. It brings back energy back to the battery pack, which makes it a lot more efficient. Instead of power loss, it goes back to the battery pack, which means more range, better efficiency. So one thing that changed in the Model Y 2026 Juniper was that they have a new functionality and it is something that's stealth meaning you don't really know about it until you drive it and it's actually really really cool so first off in the menu you can see right here you can go to dynamics and it's slightly different so instead of a little toggle switch it says deceleration and it's reduce and standard so let me explain to you exactly how that works while driving in our driveway at our warehouse so first of all on the standard this is going to be what it feels like for a traditional ev so we call this a one pedal driving and one pedal because i'm only using the acceleration pedal and when i move forward check this out this jerk i'm moving and it feels like I pushed the brake, but I actually did not touch the brake at all. You could actually do something called reduced, okay? When I go and I'm gonna stop again, same speed, it's a lot more gradual, okay? So why is this really, really important? Why is this a cool feature, right? Number one is for, I haven't even talked about, but there, when you actually use the brake, it not only uses the mechanical brake, but it blends the regen into it and brings it in. And that is a really, really big deal in my opinion, because instead of using the mechanical brake, one, it'll last longer. Your mechanical brake is not really being used at all, um, but it's also using regen, which means that you get more power to your battery pack. And then two, uh, it also introduces more uh, introduction to people who have never used an EV, which makes it a little bit easier, more familiar, like a normal car. So instead of having like a, like a, this jerking one pedal movement, and it doesn't take long, but it really gets them to kind of involve a little bit gradually rather than, you know, right away and being jerked um, with the brakes, right? Or regen braking. So that is a really, really big deal. So other things uh, that is really cool is that the Tesla's vice president, Lars, actually mentioned that the Juniper, Juniper includes a separate hydraulic channel to the brake system to allow this blending. And that is really, really cool. This is an actual physical upgrade to the architecture of the braking system and is only exclusive currently to the Juniper model. And that's it. So is it going to come to the other models? Probably, and I think Tesla does this a lot with their flagship things like a Cybertruck, they'll introduce new technologies. And then if it works, I think this is part of their testing, right? They actually bring it in. They did that with the heat pump, right? They did that with the lithium ion batteries on the Teslas. Now, now all of them have it, right? So they do this rollouts, test it out, and then after they implement it to a lot of their other cars, which is what makes them so great. So that's really cool. Um, the biggest thing about this and I want to show you this is look at this. I'm actually going to start using my brake. I'm going to do reduce right here. So this is a normal feel and I'm going to be using the brake. So in normally, if you haven't uh, driven a Tesla right here, if I'm actually pressing the accelerator, you see it goes black. Black means I'm consuming energy. Okay. When I let go, you see it turn green a little bit, just a tiny bit because I was going reverse. That actually means that I'm getting uh, regen and power back to the battery pack. So I'll show you, I'll actually use a brake over here. And you'll see right here, I'm going to go about 10 miles an hour. I use the braking and it actually blended that regen into it, which means that I got power back. back. Uh, historically, that's not how it works, right? When you use the brake and you have it off, then you're not going to get any regen or power back, right? So it's going to use the mechanical brake, which does nothing to the power. So now that we're here, we have a Model 3 as well. And we're going to go ahead and do a quick test now that we can show you. Okay, what's the difference now on the 2024? This is a 2024 Model Y Highland. And I personally prefer uh, the standard. I don't like the natural. I'm just so used to it now. Like we've been driving Tesla since 2018. So now when I go back to a reduce, it feels so unnatural for me. So I like, I'm going to put it back to standard. Let's go check out the Highland. All right, so I'm now in my Highland. And I'll show you, well, let me just get out of this driveway real quick. Same thing, right? Same construction right here. It has all the, the black when I accelerate and so on. And let me show you the setting before I start accelerating. So 
you go to dynamics, this is what it looks like. So it says apply breaks when regen is limited, okay? Um, they don't actually have a deceleration section. What this means too is when you have too, too much of a charge, right now this is at 266, it's getting pretty close, this is about 90 some percent, um, your regen actually becomes quite limited because you can't put back, it's, it's not safe, right, to put a lot of energy back into the pack. So typically they'll turn it off. So let's go and check this out. So if I press break, I guess that worked too. Well, that's, are you pressing the break? So as, as you see, when I press the brake, it kind of... Let me go a little bit around. Let me do the same thing. Oops. Driving dangerous out here in the warehouse. All right. Um, part of it though is I'm pretty fully charged. I'm at 266. That's almost, let's see the percentage right here. It's a 100%. Yeah, so regen is gonna be limited right now. So definitely apply brakes when regen. Yeah, so like right now, it feels gradual. This is not a great test because this is again at 100%. I mean, it's limited. I don't get a whole lot, right? Because I can't really output, I mean, put back a little bit more. So that's basically the biggest difference is you have that deceleration feature. Um, this Model 3 does not have a deceleration feature and I have some notes right here as far as, um, the biggest thing is I think it's, it's going to be the fact that uh, you're gonna get a lot more back. I don't know exactly how much percentage, but I think that's, that's, I really like the fact that they're thinking about it like that. Instead of adding more battery packs, more you know kilowatts, they're actually figuring out more efficient ways to make the, the packs last even longer, right? Through these kind of innovations. These can be small, but a lot of these small innovations will add up, making the car even better. So I'm really excited to see that, to have the deceleration feature. I think it's a very small, untalked about, but it's a really, really OP kind of an upgrade. So I suspect that in the next few months, you'll probably start seeing it on the other cars. But for now, Juniper exclusively in March is the only one that has this functionality in the dynamic section for deceleration. So hopefully that helped uh, kind of demystify a little bit of the deceleration. Um, I still haven't driven that a whole lot, so we're going to be testing it a little bit more, and we'll be probably doing a driving test uh, between this car and that car. So stay tuned, click on the subscribe button, and we'll see you later.